Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Bounty Hunter Edition. Now, if you're looking for some good deals on games, I know of a particular website that you can go to and actually find some, and that is, of course, G2A.com. You can click on the link in the description, and it will take you right there, and you can actually find some pretty good things. So, when we left off, we had arrived on the Aurora, the ship, none other known as the Aurora, and there is apparently a Jedi Master on board, so we will have to do some damage to him. Now, I have seen a couple of people mention that our armor is still level 18, and yes, yeah, that's, that may be true, but we have Mako with us, or Galt, and they both enable us to have a very easy time of things. So, we are going to be heading on in and, well, it may actually give us a little bit of a challenge. Obviously, usually we just stomp through everything, but maybe the Jedi Master might actually be relatively dangerous now because we obviously don't have the most up-to-date gear ever. So let's get some nice death from... Okay, never mind. Apparently these Republic crew members are just dying. Yes, they are just dying very, very easily indeed. Okay, well, that's, I suppose that's not too bad. I am actually not very, sh shall we say angry at that fact. I actually am very happy that they are dying very easily. I'm not entirely sure whether I'll do the bonus mission, though. I mean, if I can, then yeah, sure, but usually I will just avoid it as much as I can. And we do have Republic Maintenance Droids. Really? They have guns? The Maintenance Droids have guns? I would have assumed that they would have some sort of inbuilt blaster, but apparently not. Okay, so let's use our sweeping blasters here. Oh, yes. There we go, nice damage right there. And we're keeping our heat down as well, which is fantastic, so we can just keep on going, keep on going. Okay, so wait, where do we go? Go to the ship's bridge. I need to go up this way? I thought I just came through there. Huh. Oh. What, 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 what is actually... Is that an invisible wall? Are you serious? An actual invisible... Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to kill this assault droid, which is something I did not want to do, of course, because, I mean, just look at it. It's absolutely huge. We do not want to be tackling this thing, do we? And now he, of course, interrupted me as well. That's great. Okay, so let's send a stun to him. Thank you very much. Yeah, that is actually a stun. It's been a while since I've actually gained that, so I thought may as well use it. There we are. Come on now. Let's sunder his armor once again, get a little bit of a, an extra boost in damage. And let's vent some heat as well, because we have to kill that guy afterwards. Come on, kill it. Come on, Mako. You can actually finish it off, surely. Okay, apparently not. There we are. Okay, well, this is much easier in comparison, I have to say. Much easier to take out this particular droid. Yes, there we are. Okay, so... Oh, uh, okay, so there's actually a huge... Oh, okay, never mind. Apparently, there's not a huge invisible... Oh, there is. There is a huge invisible wall there, so you have to actually go into that huge droid, unless you are some sort of stealth character, I assume, or maybe are just a little bit better at avoiding things. Yes, that might be the case. Okay, well, come on now. This Republic Commando, really? Come on now, you really can't stand before us. Even though we are actually at the same level as many of these people here, it's actually pretty cool to see that we're not too over-leveled or too under-leveled at times, because usually it's one way or the other, and this time it's definitely not. So, ooh. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch Mako to damage, as I would very much like her to kill things very, very fast. So let's see if we can actually make that happen. I'm going to try and use my shield to prevent myself from taking too much damage, and I will even heal myself if I need it, because I just want to take out these guys as fast as possible. There we go. I'm going to heal myself a little bit as well. I mean, we have the opportunity to do so, because my heat is very, very easily dealt with right now. It's actually seeming maybe a little bit easier to put her on damage, but I think we're just going to keep her on heals just in case we get to a boss right now, because a boss definitely would be a very big troublemaker indeed. Okay, we're on the command deck, so... Ah, yes, we are getting more of these fellows. Okay, I'm going to wait for them to get into position, then I'm going to use death from above. Try and take out many of the adds first. There we go, that's what we like to see. Now we are being attacked by the droids, which I have to say is gr oh, just absolutely great, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's complete sarcasm right there as well. I mean, seriously, don't really want to be fighting droids for the most part. There we are, take that out. Yes, there's level 32, excellent. I was actually hoping that we could get to 34 before we upgraded our mods, because, well, uh, I don't really want to purchase level 30 mods and then have to replace them in six levels instead of getting 34, and then I'd be able to replace them in eight levels, I believe. 
At least I feel as though it seems they go up in eights. So it would be really nice if we could get that going, but obviously I'm not sure whether we will be able to pull that off because we may indeed need the upgrade before that time. But we'll see. We will actually see. I'm not too sure about it just yet. Okay, come on, take out that. Yes, there we go. All of these recruits, really, they are sending all their recruits to their doom. Oh, and we have to defeat the Republic Warden, apparently. Which is where? Oh, it's up ahead. Of course it is. It is up ahead. Okay, so damage once again for Mako. And we're going to try and take out the droid first, because apparently she's concentrating on the droid. Yeah, she concentrates on the droid. Okay, so that's good to know, at least. So in future, I'll definitely concentrate on that. Unless she just concentrates on the one that has the least HP. That might actually be the case. But she is actually soloing the Republic Commando right now. That is just magnificent. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's take out this with Death from Above. And then we'll deal with the Republic. Oh, never mind. The Republic Warden is actually coming along with these guys. Okay, well, more the merrier. It is a party after all. And this guy has a Vibro Blade. Well, he's not going to survive for very long against Mako, that's for sure. I mean, seriously, that was extremely fast. Oh, and ooh, look who it is. Look who it is. We're going to be speaking to Taro Blood. And he is over here. So, you're still alive, huh? You might be worth killing after all. Hurry up and let me out of here so we can settle this once and for all. Unless facing me as an equal frightens you. You're not my equal. You failed. So, you're a coward, is that it? Come on, surprise me. Open the door and face me like a warrior. Where's the fun in that? I want to hear you beg. <laughs> Figures, you are a lowlife. Fine, I'm begging you. I can't die like this, please! You don't deserve a warrior's death, scumbag. Let's leave him. Let him die when the ship is ripped to pieces. Works for me. No! You can't let me die like this! I'm Taro Blood, you worthless piece of filth! I'm the future of the Mandalorians! So long, Slimeball. Let me out, damn you! You can't do this to me! I'm Taro Blood! Taro Blood! Okay, so, yeah, I felt like that definitely was suitable to this particular character. I mean, really, yeah, we're not going to give him a warrior's death, just like Mako said, are we? I mean, really, come on now, we can't give him a warrior's death, even though we may have liked to hear him scream, and we may have liked to hear him actually perish in front of us. It probably wasn't the best idea to do that, because, I mean, really, it's not actually a danger to us, and, of course, it's giving him back that little bit of honor that he may have had. And I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to make sure that he died an absolute coward. And, well, you you get you get what I'm saying right now. So, let's see. Who is the Jedi Master? Ah, Kelly and Jaro, of course. It's kind of weird that it's Taro and Jaro. Or, I mean, what's, what's going on with that? There seems to be a little bit of similarity between the two. I wonder whether they're related. It's unlikely. Highly unlikely, actually. Okay, so am I going to have to deal with all of these Republic units in the center here? I hope not. I'm actually not going to be dealing with them, so I'm actually just going to move a little bit to the side and hopefully not aggro them as much. There we go. Okay, so let's speak to Kellyan. It's quite a bit of trouble, but I'm afraid it's over now. I'll ask you to drop your weapons and surrender. That's not going to happen. Then I'll have no choice but to subdue you. You will drop your weapons and surrender to me. You will realize what a complete idiot you are. Master? Be still, Padawan. I will take care of this. This bounty hunter has a much stronger will than the other one. Listen, I know the Mandalorians want me dead, but the Battle of Coruscant was years ago. Revenge profits no one. I implore you not to throw your life away. Abandon this hunt. You have your codes, I have mine. Always fulfill a contract. Fendus, your lightsaber. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Master Jedi as well as his Padawan. I am probably going to focus on the Padawan first. I'm not entirely sure what Mako's going to do. She's going to just take the aggro. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. Wait, is the Padawan actually doing anything? Apparently, apparently she is just dying. Yes, that is, that's very good to see, of course. 
Well, this guy is quite the pushover, isn't he? But I suppose you would expect no less from a Jedi. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yes, of course, we have our own Jedi Knight, so we can't be too cruel, or can we? Can we? Well, we've taken out Kellyan, and now it's just up to the Padawan to speak to. Master! No, it's not possible, Master! What are you waiting for, bounty hunter? Kill me, just like you killed my master! Go on! You weren't part of the deal. Run for an escape pod. No one paid you to kill me, so you're not interested. Is that it? We'll meet again, bounty hunter. I swear it. I'm glad you let her go. You did the right thing. There was no reason to kill her. That's a very good point. The cruiser can be set to jump into hyperspace at the bridge controls. Deactivating the tractor beam would also be a good idea. Then I'd blast the control panel just to be sure no one reverses what you've done. Then we run. And that's exactly my point. That's exactly what I said in the earlier episodes of this particular series, that I would be doing everything that I can to be efficient, but not to be overly bloodthirsty, because of course there was no reason to kill that particular Padawan. And if, if we were paid, then yeah, sure, why not? But otherwise, no. So let us set the hyperdrive timer, and then we're going to run over to the tractor beam as fast as we can. Come on, come on, can, can I, can I please, can I please slice it? Thank you very much. I really do want to get out of here now. That would be nice. And so now all we have to do is escape in our ship. And I'm kind of a little bit worried because now we have to, do we have to fight? We actually have to fight on the way out. Oh, that is, that is harsh. That is very harsh. Okay, well, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to fight through all of these Republic soldiers and commandos and things. And I will see you when we're a little bit closer to our ship. Okay, so with the phase in sight, we are now going to get into the airlock and hopefully escape in our ship unharmed, maybe. Well, I do know that the next objective for this particular mission is to interact with our intercom, and so that would mean we're going to be speaking to Mako and Galt, I would assume, and we're going to be deciding what we do next, I, I guess. I mean, that's going to be pretty interesting to see, actually. You did it! I knew you would! You're amazing! It was pretty impressive work, and believe me, I know impressive. You're my hero. You know that, right? Let's focus. Don't want to be the crew that was almost crowned Great Hunt Champions. Right. But still, Brayden would have been so proud. So would Soon. You're who they were talking about when they spoke of Great Hunters. It has been quite a ride. It hasn't all been fun, but this feels pretty good. And trust me, the celebration's just starting. We should return to the Mandalorian Enclave on Drum and Koss to officially inform the Huntmaster of your victory. There'll be some sort of ceremony. Mandalorians are big on that. I'm sending them the news right now. Oh, uh -huh, there we go. Okay, so we have... Whoa. Oh my. 3,000. Did you see that? 3,000 influence with Mako. Now that is amazing. And apparently she still does not want to talk with us. That's kind of amusing. Okay, so there it is. That will be the end of this episode. And then we will be returning to Drummond Cass and... Everyone will be hailing us the conquering hero. Oh yes. So I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.